G'day, I'm Ben from Nilbuckley Motors. We're here at Simmons Plains today, just uh, preparing the Nilbuckley Subaru. It's competing in four-wheel drive showroom class, getting the tyres scrubbed in and just a few last-minute checks, ready for Targa next week. The car hasn't changed a lot from Targa Rest Point. We were second there to Miller, uh, 16 seconds behind. So basically just evolution, just bedding in the tyres today, got some new project, new brake pads, bedding those in. We've spent a lot of time on recce, so just trying to get our head around the stages, especially the longer stages, I think that's where the event's won. With Matt Rowland on day one, it's certainly it's all cards on, on the table there. We've really got to have a crack through there to try and uh, set the pace. Prologue, day zero, we'll just see how we go, just get their brains back up to speed slowly and uh, you know, get used to listing the notes again and see how we go. Day zero, so we've done Tayana and Prologue today. We're a bit rusty to be honest, you know, it takes a bit of time to get back up to speed with the car moving around and notes and listing the notes and all that, but um, it's been a good day. We uh, won both stages today, so uh, the Subaru's uh, finished the day number one spot in four-wheel drive showroom. Yeah, Georgetown's fantastic, the, the crowds come out, we had some sponsors there, our wives, it was really good. To see all the kids out in the roads today, it it's really is a big community event. Tomorrow's probably a warm up till lunchtime, there's not a lot of time to be gained or lost I don't think but the afternoon you know it's all cards on the table uh, Paluna and Mount Roland is where it's going to be at so got, got to have a fair crack through those hopefully it's dry we've got some R ties to, to uh, push on through there Kind of happy to be here, but uh, a little bit disappointed with the result. Would like to be a bit closer to Scott. I think we're 10 seconds off Angus, but um, we kind of just things didn't click this morning. Throughout the day, we got progressively quicker and we're matching Scott's times by the end of the day. So yeah, kind of getting into the groove, and it's a five-day event, so we'll, you know, take it day by day and see what happens. The day didn't get off to the best start. Um, the first stage, I think we blew 10 seconds off the start line, so Scotty got a 20 second uh, lead on us on stage one. But the, the pace is hot in this four-wheel drive showroom. I think Mount Roll and our stages would have got us right on 10th in modern, so for showroom four-wheel drive cars, without the big grunt across the top of Mount Roll, and it's pretty good. Arden. That was a bit scary this morning. Wet, cold, miserable, brains are cold from overnight and uh, heaps of oil on the road. So that was uh, pretty diabolical but we got through unscathed. Yeah, a little bit wet and slippery coming up through Ross Arden but uh, no, I think Ben drove okay. We got here, there was a, car, a couple of cars speared off in the bank but, uh, and a little bit of oil too that made it a bit, uh, a bit treacherous. Day two, pretty happy. Yeah. Kind of clicked a lot more today. Notes were coming out well, car was feeling good. Probably made the wrong choice on tyres. We ran some mediums today. In hindsight, should have stuck on the R's because it didn't rain. But no, I think we're up to second place, so um, all going well. Longford's always good fun. See all the crowd out there. You know, you get three or four text messages from mates before you go through. You know, put a show on, put a show on. They're not worried about your tyre wear, but uh, no, all good. Lunch stop, Olsen, down near the uh, sunny seaside. So, um, yeah, just getting in the groove this morning. Uh, pretty scary through the first stage. The R's took a while to warm up. Had a bit of a crack through Safana, so we're pretty happy with that. It's had a good time. And uh, got to the lunch stop and uh, heard Scotty's out, which makes it Subaru 123. So, unfortunate for Scotty, good for Subaru. Left 
fighting. Angus and I are having a pretty good tussle. I think we're within 10 seconds of one another. I think so. It looks like a good battle for the next couple of days. started this morning you know reasonably confident ready to have a nice solid day again and uh, we came across a couple of dramas got to the reef dam stage had a good run through that or what we thought was going to be a good run and got about halfway through and a couple of lights came on the dash and uh, you know, the trusty old Subaru normally doesn't do things like that and uh, a couple more came on a couple more came on and then you know got to the end of the stage and uh, we decided to try and reset the ECU did that tried to start no battery um, so it appeared like an alternator problem, so we pushed started, got to the start of uh, Pyman stage and the battery just had, gave up, so we basically had to stop on the stage. We've dropped 20 minutes now, but we've found the problem and we'll fight back this afternoon and see what we can do. But us and Kennard were you know, right up there on time, so we're probably 15 minutes ahead of the third place guy, so we've probably got five or so minutes to catch up to get back on the podium, so we'll give it a fair crack. done well, Crichton's done well and you know, we've, we've done some really competitive stage times, we're happy, um, you know, I think Mount Arrowsmith would have put a six in modern today in a little uh, showroom spec car against the high horsepower cars, we're pretty happy, so yeah, had a really good event, glad to be here, unfortunate events yesterday but overall wrap. We had a fair deficit to make up today, two minutes forty, so it was all guns blazing this morning, we had a fair crack through Strawn and then had a crack through Arrowsmith and uh, pulled back the time, so we had a few stages to spare and I think we ended up putting two minutes back on fourth place. Car's been faultless, just uh, one little five dollar fuse. But um, yeah, car's been great. Notes have been fantastic. We'll just have a debrief next week and see where we go, but probably give Adelaide a crack and you know do the same again in the championship.